What's up guys, Technicals here. If you're like me, then you probably have a lot of spare parts laying around from computer builds, from mining rigs, that things that you've just accumulated over the years. I know I do. So recently I moved my GPU mining rig into an OctaMiner, which left me with even more spare parts, including a 1080 Ti and a 2080 Ti. Now I'm not really interested in selling these because it's not really worth the time to drive 30 minutes across town and sell them to some guy off Facebook for $75 or whatever he decides to show up with. So today I'm gonna take all these spare parts, which I consider paid off, off because they're spare parts and see if I can build them into a mining rig just with what I have. And maybe one thing I buy. Technicals, what are you gonna do with an old GPU? How are you gonna build that into a mining rig? Well, I'm gonna do a hard drive mining rig. That's right, we're gonna use a GPU in a hard drive mining rig. Now I know, before you click off of this video because hard drive mining is like weird and complicated and stuff like that, I agree, it is, it is really weird and complicated, but I found a solution to make it a little bit easier so anyone with spare hard drives can get up and operating on low-end equipment and start mining Chia. Now, Chia is really the only coin that you can mine with hard drives. I know there are a few others and have been a few others, but really Chia is the only one. Now, most people when they mine Chia, they use something like an evergreen miner, which is plug and play and simple, and I hope to do some uh, reviews on that here in the future. But as a comparison, I wanted to build a Chia mining rig. So we're gonna look at what that entails, go through the process, get up and running, and see how much we're making. I'm the Technicals, let's get into it. All right, so for this rig build, everything is a spare part except for one thing. We'll get to that soon. The case here was my old file server. You could use a, a regular ATX model case. It works just fine. You just need some space for the hard drives depending on how crazy you wanna get with it. Motherboard out of my old mining rig. This is an MSI uh, Z270 Gaming M3 with an i7-7700. Pretty old gen, pretty low end CPU. We've got a 250 gigabyte NVMe hard drive to run our operating system, 16 gigabytes of RAM, this old 850 watt modular power supply. Again, nothing crazy. And as the workhorse for this machine, we're gonna be using this Founders Edition 2080 Ti, which I still think is the best looking card that they ever made. And so when it comes to Chia mining, hard drive capacity is the name of the game. I've got all these spare hard drives, these hard disk mechanical drives, but they're all like small, one terabyte, two terabytes, two terabytes. So the one thing that I did buy for this build was this, a 16 terabyte renewed hard drive off of Amazon. This is a shuck, which means it was taken out of an external hard drive and just sold like this. So if you do buy a shuck, which are usually a lot cheaper on Amazon, this was about $120 for this 16 terabyte drive. So it's a really, really cheap cost per terabyte. If you buy a shuck, it will probably come with a power adapter because you plug in your regular SATA power, it won't work. You're gonna need the power adapter for it. But you can also buy renewed ones that aren't shucks off of Amazon. Be sure to check the description before you buy something like this, but you're gonna to wanna to get the most amount of space that you possibly can. All right, so enough talk and let's go into the build montage. That wasn't much of a build montage. The motherboard and stuff was already in here, but what we decided to do was put in our 16 terabyte drive along with two two terabyte drives. Say that five times fast. Two terabyte drive, two 20, 2080 Ti. So with two two terabyte drives, that gives us 20 terabytes total for our 2080 Ti build. Say that five times fast. You don't wanna know how many times I rehearsed that line. So 20 terabytes total on which to plot for Chia. Now I'm not gonna get into the specifics of Chia farming or how it works. But the best description I've heard is that when you plot, uh, your total plots are like lottery tickets, and then over time, those lottery tickets win, kind of like hitting a block. Uh, if you go on a pool, then when the pool wins the blocks, it gets distributed proportionally. People also say farming Chia is easy, and it is if you're doing it from within the full node, just with drive plotting. But drive plotting is enormously slow. So then if you want to graduate into something like plotting with your hard drive from within the full node or RAM plotting or something like that, you need super beefy hardware. And this is, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is using spare parts. And again, I'm hoping I'm not speaking out of turn because mining Chia is complicated shit and I'm trying to learn all this as I go. Me, I just want to plug things in and see number go up on the screen. I don't really need to know the specifics about how Chia farming works because I don't care and I don't care what the coin does. I just want to make money. So let's fire this thing up and get started. 
For this build, I'm gonna be using my Highway 11 inch security monitor, USB powered, HDMI out. Great way to troubleshoot rigs and set things up on the go. Link in the description below over to Amazon where you can buy it, use my link, I get a little money. All right, so once you're up and operating, you're gonna to wanna to do a couple things. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that drivers are installed for your GPU, and you're also gonna to wanna to head over to Disk Manager to make sure all your disks are in place, that they're initialized and they're formatted. So we can see that our disks that we had from before, this was one of the plots drive that I was plotting on previously for the test rig, and here is our new one. So it's showing about uh, 14 or just under 15 terabytes in total. We're gonna create a new simple volume, quick format, sign it E, NTFS is fine, and finish. Now, next, just for illustrative purposes, we're gonna download the Chia full node and sync the blockchain so we can do some mining from within Chia itself. Head over to Chia.net, hit Downloads, and then go over to Download Now. I'm on Windows, and so you click Download the Windows, download the file, and begin to install. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is sync the blockchain, but because the Chia blockchain is so large, they've conveniently offered a torrent download that brings you up to a certain block height to a certain date, so you're not syncing straight from the blockchain you download the torrent, upload the torrent, put it into a particular folder, and then you start syncing from there. All right, there we go. Now we just wait for the torrent to download. Holy shit, that took a long time. Okay, so we've got the torrent downloaded. Oh man, okay, so we uploaded the torrent, we went ahead and put it in the files in the folder where we needed to put it and now we can launch the Chia node and start syncing from there. But, you know, that's good because now we're gonna be able to sync so much faster because we've downloaded this torrent and put it in place, and now we just have to start syncing from that point on. So we can fire up our Chia node and start syncing. All right, should be a cakewalk from here, so I guess I'll just sit back, relax, and wait for this puppy to sync up. Oh, man, it's shabbits. Okay, whew. That took even longer. So obviously I synced my system when I did my test rig on this, but the full sync from the torrent download from the block height that the torrent took me to took an additional three days to sync. So uh, it does take a long time to sync the Chia blockchain. So uh, I'm not gonna do that again. I'm saving this precious little hard drive for as long as I run through this Chia experiment. All right, so if you don't have a GPU and you're trying to do this, you can mine within the Chia client. It's all self-contained here, which is kind of convenient. The only thing I don't like is that you have to somehow get a very small amount of Chia in the wallet before you can join a pool. And they have faucets, but the faucets are typically pretty slow or you can go buy it, but I don't like having to buy a coin just to mine it. You could add plots and then you could go through and set up your plots just with drive plotting. So that's using the drives to plot, but you will need, we well, don't tip, you don't need need, but you really should have an SSD to store your temporary files and a large capacity hard drive for your plot itself. Now within the full node itself, you can choose to use a, a GPU plotter, a blade bit plotter with CUDA. You can do uh, RAM plotting, or you can use Mad Max, which uses uh, the hardware. I think it's just CPU and uh, RAM for Mad Max and maybe everything. Uh, but if you're using a RAM plot, it, you have to have at least like 128 gigs of RAM or 256. So you're talking like server grade, enterprise grade type stuff. Um, or you can just use the default proof of space where you're only using the hard drive. So you can do this without a GPU, but if you've got a spare GPU, that's going to make really all the difference. So I did this initially on the Chia full node and it was just, it was slow as molasses. It was really difficult. That's when I decided to move on to no SSD. You can go to the no SSD Chia pool, no SSD.com, click start mining. You don't have to sync the blockchain or anything like that. You can down the V2 client for GPU mining, the V1 client for CPU mining if you're not running a GPU. So you do have the flexibility from here. Now, GPU mining uh, seems to be a lot quicker than CPU mining. Uh, again, depending on your CPU and on your GPU, you're just gonna follow the instructions here. You extract the files, you edit the, uh, the, start, the start file, you replace things in the start file, file, and you set your different parameters for your levels of compression and you run it and that's where I am now and that's what I've been doing. So super easy, no syncing, no back and forth. Uh, you can go ahead and set yourself up a Chia wallet on like a mobile device, use Evergreen's wallet or something like that and then just point your address to there or you could just point it to the node on your desktop if you wanna do that. Uh, but super simple to start with no SSD. I know a lot of people on Chia want to ban no SSD for their compression or for whatever thing that they've worked out here. but 
Turn the camera around. The, the Chia people are mad at no SSD from what I can gather because no SSD is closed source and they figured out a better way to do it. There are lots of closed sourced things in the cryptocurrency space. Uh, so it just seems to me that they're looking for anything they can uh, to be mad at no SSD about. Um, to be perfectly honest, if I went through and set up a giant GPU mining farm and then someone came along and said, oh, I have this program where you can do everything that you're doing with your giant farm with one GPU. I'd be pretty pissed too, because I built out and spent all this money on a giant GPU farm, but ultimately, can you really be mad at that? That's my take on that without knowing really anything, but I love giving opinions on things I have no idea about. So if you like doing that, let me know what your opinion is in the comments below. And so I'm back. It's been about 24 hours since we first started. The plots take about 27 plus 17, whatever that math suggests. So. Uh, under 45 minutes to get a full plot. And so with the 1080 Ti, it was about an hour and a half. I put this on C12, which had a higher millisecond, which I guess means takes longer, uh, but offers more compression. So you can fit more plots on the hard drive. Again, that's my uh, retard take on this without getting into the detail much. You're getting about two ten thousandths of, or two th thousandths of a, a Chia per day, which comes out to about a little over a penny per day. So it's, uh, it's kind of in line with where we were uh, previously, but when I was on the 1080 Ti on the test rig, which I did not include in this video, it took me about three days to get up to that point. And we could probably go over to a calculator and figure out what we would expect to get. Well, let's just do that now. All right, so in total, I'm just gonna round down a little bit to say that I have 14 total uh, terabytes of available space to plot on, which comes out to about 12 and three quarters uh, tebibytes. So if we go over into, into our Chia calculator, if we go to tebibytes and go to 14.75, then that comes out to about 149 plots. Simplified, of course, all the way down. It's saying that the daily uh, USD is about one quarter per day. And our power, just an annotation here about the power, I've been keeping an eye on it. It wobbles quite a bit between like 75 up to 150, down to nine. I mean, so you can see the range in there and we can plug that in to see what our total power cost is gonna be on that. But I wanted to add an addendum because I'm gonna take the, uh, the average and I'm gonna reduce it down by probably, I don't know, 12, 13, 15 watts maybe. And that's because the 2080 Ti in here, I'm not sure what the deal is with it, but for the past forever, the fans uh, are kind of stuck on high mode. So that's why it's kind of loud. But for your purposes, if you're trying to, we're trying to get like a, an even Steven perspective here, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this number in to see how much power this is using and if it beats 25 cents per day. All right, so if it, I take this, let's say I average it out to 100 watts, 100 watts. Do you really need a calculator to do this? Yes, I do. This thing is pulling 100 watts per day uh, times 24 hours a day divided by 1,000 times my electricity rate, plug yours in, mine is this, it comes out to 18 cents per day. That's right, baby, six cents per day. This is me plugging in with 14.7 uh, tebibytes or 149 plots, but remember, that I'm running compression on this. And so I don't know what the math suggests. I could look it up, but I'm honestly, I think I'm just gonna wait because it's plotting so fast. And I'll wait it out to see where I land uh, because I've got some headroom in here and the compression I'm hoping uh, works out to be better. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. So obviously it'll take a little longer for this to settle out and give us a better idea as to where we will actually be. But the big question is, is the juice worth the squeeze? Really depends on your situation. I had these spare parts laying around. If you got enough spare parts laying around to do something like this, I'd say, yeah, why not? Because if you take a look at Chia's price, uh, it debuted really high. People think it might go back. It's not going back to that. That's insane. Does it have room to grow? Maybe, I don't know. I don't think any coin's really worth buying or really any coin has any reason to exist. But if other people believe that it does, then the price could go up. You're mining speculatively, speculatively in, sort of a, in sort of a sense. Uh, so do you want to diversify a little bit? Do you have spare hard drives laying around? Do you want to throw something like this together? Is it worth running that extra? 100 watts, 200 watts, whatever it is, depending on your size. 
That's a question only you can answer. For me, yeah, it's something new, something different. It adds spice and flavor to the channel. So if you're into Chia mining and you want to watch a complete idiot do it that has no interest in exploring it any deeper than surface level and is only concerned about making money, then please subscribe to the channel because I'll probably do some more with this. And allegedly Evergreen's sending me a miner for review to kind of run apples to kumquats on this uh, type of thing because I suspect that an Evergreen miner is going to be a much simpler process to, uh, to set up, but it seems like you pay for it. But we'll see when that gets here whenever it does. If you like content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments below, do you have a Chia miner? are going up and going do you just use an evergreen or are you completely uninterested in hard drive mining and if so why because to me it all seems the same this is just mined in a different sort of way versus cpus and gpus it's a little more complicated but ultimately the coin itself is it really any different than any other coin that we mine let me know your thoughts in the comments below be sure to like this video on the technicals see you next time